This local sports report is brought to you by the Inn of Waterloo and Conference Center. Check us out for all your conference, event, and guest room requirements for any of your out-of-town fans. Let us be part of your home team. We are here to exceed your expectations. Book now by calling 519-804-1130 or visit the Inn of Waterloo.com. Mike Milovic Jr. has been playing football for over a decade, and one of his goals was to play university football. Mike has achieved that, and he joins us now. Congratulations, my friend. You are going to the University of Waterloo to become a warrior. Awesome for you. Why was that the best fit for you, Mike? Well, for me, I just, like, I was the ball boy for the team for a few years, so I was able to see it from, like, the sidelines and see how all the coaches interacted with each other. And, then, like, another standpoint is when I played Preds, a bunch of the coaches are from UW who either coach professionally there, like Brendan Conway, or, like, are actual players there, like Colin Grant, who was my DB coach for the past season. And so, you know, just having that, like, ability that you already sort of, like, know people on the team, it just made that, like uh, – like I wanted to go there that much more. Yeah, so much familiarity, right? And it's awesome to see the way that obviously the program has gradually improved over the last couple of years as well. This is a program on the rise led by head coach Chris Bertoya making the playoffs last year, winning a game in the playoffs. What's the buzz or what was the feel when you signed on the dotted line for you just about the program in general and where you think it's going, Mike? Well, like for me, I don't know. I, I just wanted to be part of something that's sort of on the rise. Because like over the years, you know, it's specifically in like KW, it's just been Laurier for like a long time. And just to see like UW, which is sort of like this underdog around here, you know, slowly climb, climb, climb. And now they're at a point where they can compete at a high level. I don't know. I just thought that it would be cool to kind of be a part of that, you know, say I was there. Here's the thing, too. That Laurier-Waterloo Battle of Waterloo football game last year was a classic and maybe one of the best football games that, you know, in the OUA that's happened in quite some time. Warriors, a team on the rise, like you said. You're a defensive back. How do you see yourself fitting into their defensive scheme? That familiarity probably helps you already, you know, knowing some of the systems because they were part of the Predators program. But how do you specifically see yourself fitting in? Obviously, you know, you're going to have to adjust to the speed a little bit and things like that. But I've watched you and I think you're ready and I think you're fully capable to step in. Uh, thanks for saying that, Darren. Uh, you know, for me, uh, I'm not going to say I want to take it slow, but like I want to sort of just learn from the experience because they have a lot of players who would have been there from the, the Waterloo program has been like reinstated or whatever. So like I kind of want to learn from like the veteran experience just to improve my game. And then when I get out there, I'm like some OUA all-star. When you look at the Predators experience and you touched on it a little bit at the beginning, what can you say about their program? You've been playing there uh, since you were seven or eight years old. Obviously, it's had a huge impact and influence on your life. Talk about the program and how it made you better, Mike. Well, for me, like, for me, Preds has kind of just been my life. Whenever, it, well, when I was seven, I started in the fall. And, like, ever since then, I've just loved football. And I think the Preds have had, like, a, a really nice, like, family environment to it. And as well as, like, they always, like, especially when you get into, like, the higher levels, like SV and JV and all that, they start to bring in coaches who kind of set you up for university. It's no longer, like, someone's dad is the coach, per se, but, like, these are people who have had coaching experience in OUA. And, like, for instance, Brandon Conway, who was my first year JV coach, he's the special teams coordinator at UW. So having coaches like that really set you on a pathway for success. And then you know, if you're good enough, you'll eventually probably make it onto the university roster. Brandon Stipe was your defensive coordinator last summer with the Preds. Now he's moved into the head coaching role. If there had been a season this summer, I don't want to get into the no OPFL season thing. I want you to speak to Brandon Sype, who was your defensive coordinator last year. You know, you mentioned that experience and then preparing you. How specifically did he help you get this opportunity to play for the Warriors? Well, I think, like, uh, for me, it was just kind of, like, trusting me. When I came into the Preds last year, they, they had, like, a depth chart with, like, A, B, C, D. 
And I was like sort of like an undefined position. I wasn't listed as corner, deep, uh, halfback, or safety. Just him having the trust in me after the starting safety decided he didn't want to play and just have him having the trust to put me in, who was a first year with no experience at safety, and like letting him, letting me do that, it just it shot my confidence through the roof. You know, it, it gave me like an experience that I've never had. And you proved that he made the right decision. Right. And that's a simple, yeah. you played so well, you know, obviously a tough loss in the playoffs last year, but that team, um, you know, you said it earlier, right. It's, it's a, it's a football family and that's what the predators is about. Can you speak to the organization as a whole, why you chose to play or to continue to play there when you're younger, you know, you just sign up for football when you're seven, eight, nine years old. But when it comes to um, the bigger picture, and obviously you played there for over a decade, there's a reason that you stayed with the Preds, Mike. Why? Well, again, like I said, that family environment. But then also, like, you start growing up with a bunch of players who keep coming back year after year after year. Players like Zach Harvey, who unfortunately committed to Laurier. He should have committed to UW. But, uh, you know, players like that who you sort of just become friends with. And then, you know, it becomes like a brotherhood. You know, you, you play beside your brothers and then you all are working towards a common goal of winning a championship. And you've had a lot of coaches and people that have helped you along the way playing football for as long as you have. An opportunity for you to say thank you, Mike, give your shout outs. Who are some of the people that allowed you to attain this goal? An amazing opportunity for you going to play OUA football. Well, shout out to my dad, first off, for uh, sort of forcing me into the sport when I was seven. Uh, shout out to Shaquille Seeley. Uh, X Water Lucid for being my first year DV coach in JV and kind of sending me along this path. Um, and then, you know, shout out to Colin Grant, uh, Brandon Sipes, and Eckett for, you know, just continuing my development and having faith in me to play safety last year. We're all happy for you, Mike. A local player staying close to home, signing with Chris Bertoya and the Waterloo Warriors. Congratulations and look forward to seeing you on the field soon. Thank you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.